Hello, we are presenting our step-by-step -step installation of the Thermogenics pump. We first lubricate the stationary mechanical seal and put it into the seat ring holder. Press the seal properly into its seat. Take the mechanical seal and apply grease on the inner portion before mounting it onto the shaft. Apply grease onto the hardened part of the shaft as the mechanical seal sits here. Install the mechanical seal onto the shaft. The o-ring inside will slide up the shaft, creating a tight seal. Place new o-ring onto the outer grooves of the seat ring holder. Unscrew the cap of the seat ring holder. Instead, we are replacing the o-ring and we'll need to install the bearings when placed on the shaft. Slide the seat ring holder into the shaft. Install the bearings carefully into the seat ring holder. Make sure they don't tear when sliding over the threads. Apply grease to the cap. This is where the o-ring sits. Once the bearings are in place, slide the cap into the holder. Make sure the bearings are seated flat as well as the o-ring. Once the cap is seated, install the set screw evenly. Install the snap ring into the holder to keep it in place. We heat the bearings to 125 Celsius, which is to 50 Fahrenheit. Yeah. When ready, we mount the two bearings onto the shaft. Make sure the bearings are face down uh, and first apply high temperature grease before installing the second bearing.
To secure the bearings, install the lock washer and thread on the lock nut. Tighten the lock nut and secure it with the washer's teeth. To adjust the mechanical seal, it is compressed about 50-60%, then the set screws are tightened to secure the seal. Apply high temperature grease on the seat ring holder. Install the shaft into the housing, then slide onto the wearing carefully, making sure it doesn't tear. Install the bearing cover, followed by the support foot. Using Teflon, install all the housing plugs. Install the bottom and top connectors with Teflon onto the ends threading into the housing. Try to align the connectors to the same position we set. Install the heat exchanger. We tighten the connectors close to where the heat exchange plugs can thread right on. Install the shaft key, then install the impeller onto the shaft, making sure the key is in place. Place the washer onto the top of the shaft. Using blue Loctite, thread the nut onto the shaft.
Place high temperature gasket under the housing flange, then install the volute. Make sure you tighten the nuts even. Now we begin testing the pump. We fill the pump with water through the top flange, then install our pressure gauge and connect the airline. Open the valve and monitor the pressure. It should be roughly between 20 and 40 psi. Thank you. 